Okay, convex optimization part three. This is the short one, I promise. All right, so we started with this optimization problem. Here it is again. We changed it to look like this beautiful primal. Then we realized that actually you can write this as the maximum of the Lagrangian with respect to the dual variables alpha and beta. How cool is that? And that is, um, again, that's the primal problem. Now, as it turns out, the primal objective is a convex function of x. Okay, so why would that be true? All right, so let us write down the primal here as, again, the maximum of the Lagrangian with respect to alpha and beta. Now, as it turns out, there's a bunch of facts that if you knew them, you could determine immediately that um, the primal is a convex function of x. And in particular, the first thing you need to know is that a sum of convex functions is convex. So that means if I can prove that each of those those terms, each of the terms in there is convex, then I'm good. Okay, so let's start with f of x. I already know f of x is convex. We assume that. That's part of the problem. Okay, now each of the gi's is convex in x. Again, we got that from the, the original problem. However, we also know that the alphas are non-negative. If the alphas were negative, we would be in big trouble because we know that the negative of a convex function is concave, right? So that, um, that, that would violate, you know, that wouldn't be good. Okay, but luckily all the alphas are non-negative and so we have a sum of convex functions so far. The h's are affine, which are both concave and convex. So in that case, regardless of whatever the sign of beta actually is, then um, all of those terms are also convex. So that's good. And then finally, the very last fact, very last bit you need to know to prove the fact is that um, the maximum of a, con of a collection of convex functions is, con is also convex. So when we take this max over all alpha and beta, well, that's the maximum of a collection of convex functions because you know, for, if you fix alpha and beta, you get a convex function as we showed. And so the maximum of a convex function maximum of collection of convex functions is convex. And so that's what we have and we're good. However, I will mention that when we talk about the dual, it does not fare so well. It in fact is concave. <laughs>